Today's video, we're gonna go over flats. This video is actually been sponsored by, drunk. that's an option, sponsored by Rag Proper Flasks today. So, um, they sent us a few of their flasks ah, oh, just that there. for us to test out, play with, drink from, oh. use. We're gonna test them. We're gonna test them. And you know what? We got a checkout discount code. Use Bourbon Junkies at checkout for 10% off. Yep. Watch this video. Go over, check them out. We'll tell you if we like them. We're just gonna, we're literally gonna tell you if we like them or not. So, what I'd like to do is compare them to a different flask. Now, before we get into the rag proper portion, the flask we're gonna be comparing them today to is this one. This flask, <laughs> clearly not ours. I would call this, what I would consider the not ours flask is a high-end stainless steel flask. Yeah. I would say this is a quality normal flask is how I'm gonna phrase it, okay? Now, we how got- How do you want to phrase our not flask? We, not ours. So this is the brand, uh, it's called not ours. So like I said, Ray Proper sent us some flasks. Do you wanna start with packaging? Yeah. Packaging's on point if we're being honest. They sent us two different versions of these today. Um. This is the single. This is the double. So. Not enough weight to get the bottom out. Well, that one's empty. It really holds, it that holds one's... together well. This yeah. is a well You don't really need to open that one. It's a well This is the box. One. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> She's finally here. Okay. It's a so, well, well constructed box. If you buy the dose. Um, the Duble. The Duble is what we call, this one's 50 bucks, right? Yeah. That thing's gone. So. Um, no, the, no, that's one of the best parts. This is Sean's favorite part. This is their 200 mil flask right here. 240. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna throw this. That's their 100 mil flask. These are, sure. dude, that flask is so big. <laughs> so. That's a meaty gal. Right a, as an example, let's put this back. These are probably pretty similar. Yeah. This is a monster of a flask and, and I love quarter, it. For a third of a fifth. Basically, you're putting in there. You're looking to have a damn good time. Or an extended. Die. Or an extended It's time. a very long day of golf. Um, this is a camping flask, as I call it. Yeah. So, um, these ones are the silicone cover. As you can see, they're black. This is still so hot. It's been in Sean's trunk, by the way. We've actually been testing, testing these testing. out. Yeah. So, they come with, on them, metal caps, right? Yep. With cork inserts on them. Yep. If you Over. don't want. You cork. want no metal. You get through maybe a metal detector somewhere like a baseball game, um, put the plastic cap on. Plus, now it's all plastic, glass, and silicone. And then they also send, what I've been using, is I took the cork out and I put the, the silicone topper on, gets a better seal in there. Yeah, because I've had no issues with leaking, but. And then the best part. That is, this is why I wanted to find our funnel. I'm so sad. We have a metal funnel that came with uh, the Not Ours flask. This flask is a, or this funnel, is the game changer of funnels. Yep. So you, get, you get nice silicone construction, nice wide opening, and then the best little part, super zoom, this little cutout right there. So you don't get no it's bubbling. Aeration technique. Watch you don't get this. no bubbling. You just Put kinda, it in there. Mm, shove it down in. I'm worried. How <laughs> fast did you think that was gonna go down? You didn't do it right. It's still a tiny opening. <laughs> oh, I wonder. We're gonna try something right now because Sean just had a great idea. I think that might work. Let's see if this it works. It can't be worse than Let's what you just fucking works. did. Ready? Okay. So take the flask to it. There you go. Dude, this is the fastest pouring technique of all time. Okay, I may have gotten overboard with how to fill a flask. I wouldn't recommend my method. Let me try it like this. A normal person would fill a flask how? That is it right there, dude. Look how fast you can fill this bad boy up. And then it's gonna overflow because okay, it's not watching. Look how fast I legitimately filled that. That was for real the way to do it. It took me three attempts. Attempt number three, I nailed it. I actually like the metal oh. caps, but the idea of having this be something you take into like, like you said, a baseball game. Sporting event. There are two options with these flasks now that we've made a mess together, Sean and I. We. The yeah. other option is my favorite. Leather. Leather. These are nice, thick flash, by the way. There's, this is, this, okay. That's pretty not, strong. We're not ready for that part. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually test this flash. But real quick before we do that, this is the leather option. This Fancy. is the darker of the leather options. 
the, still got the fill window. Got a little reg proper engraving on the back, little pipe on the front. I personally have taken this on every mountain biking trip I've went on. It's been fantastic. I keep using the cork top and actually it has, you can confirm, it's got a little indentation there. Doug. AKA, we call that a seal in the industry of science. It's been in my trunk for two weeks now. I'd like to do another test. I just wanna, oh, there's a little. Oh, oh yeah, good and sealed. Very warm still. Real good though. Real That's good. the nice thing about the glass. A lot of people don't like the taste that, like people talk about metal twinge from a metal flask. Oh yeah. If you buy a cheap flask, which I literally have had this happen. Maybe There's if I can- I think you have pictures of it. If I can find the picture, I'll put it, I'll overlay it. If you buy a cheap metal flask, the coating on the inside of the flask will actually come off into the whiskey, it'll turn it black. It was a flask from a very big box store, cost eight bucks, and it turned it black in a week and a half. So if you keep whiskey in a flask for a little while, even on accident, a nice stainless flask, I've had 115 proof rye in here for three weeks and it didn't turn it black, didn't change it at all. What, what are you doing here? I wanna, I wanna, this is my test. We're gonna do a test. I don't know. We're all gonna learn about this test together. Okay, there's almost exactly four ounces of whiskey in this flask. Okay. Um, Where are you going with this, Chief? I'll tell you in a minute, you relax. So, okay. my theory is that four ounces will pour faster out of this then it will pour out of that because I think the mouth on this is bigger than that. Okay. We're gonna start the testing phase of this video. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if we would like these over more over the normal stainless because, no, 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 no. Because the stainless are cheaper. So let's see if the rag proppers technically are worth more money. Let's see how long it takes to pour four ounces of whiskey into a glass. It's not looking good for it. Four ounces is more than I thought, I'm gonna be honest. I think that's about it. I think that's we're good. good. I'm calling that. This was not on. This lid was not on. I ripped it off with my bare paws. Hey, Chief. Listen, dude. So, one of the things Rag Proper says is this is a brake resistant glass flask. So, this is the big boy. This is the mamma jamma. This is the camping flask. What we're going to do, when you take shit camping, stuff happens. Let's see if the normal camping activities would break this flask. Let's go. So, one of the things. I believe that you could do while camping is throw your buddy a flash. Camping flash drop. The next thing that happens while camping is like everybody's riding bikes. So, what if you ran over this with your bike? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh yeah. Oh, we're getting it. All right, so uh, we hit it with Oh, small bike. Time to uh, up the ante a little bit. So this is just gonna be some behind the scenes of me talking and hopefully you guys can hear Dan ripping around on the four wheeler that's about to go over this flask, but if he doesn't die and run this into my car, I will be shocked. So, well, I guess the dirt bike didn't break it, the quad didn't break it. I'm just gonna try a couple more things and if it doesn't break, it doesn't break. I would say uh, the brake resistant glass claim isn't actually incorrect. Try a couple more things, see you in the hut. Oh. As you saw, we have literally tested this thing. Give her hell. When I say tested it, I feel like we tested it. New. <laughs> what we did. Ben and Sean's truck, been under tires of several <laughs> objects that have engines behind them and weigh a lot. The resistant broken glass idea. It works. The metal obviously is gonna dent before it breaks. Yeah. It didn't break. I'm, I'm actually shocked it on some of that. It didn't break. So needless to say, Reg Proper Flasher, a hell of a drug personally, in yeah. my opinion. We Every like them a lot. once in a blue moon, I think something comes, like flasher a thing, right? That's yeah. been around forever. Something comes that changes the game a bit. 
right? Oh, I see what you're saying. This yeah, this is taking it to a next level type deal. We, I don't know what else you want. We literally ran it over with engines. Good product. Held up to every every test. We had poured faster, which means you get a better drink, bigger uh, neck in her, which is great. I can't speak highly enough of these things. Okay, or speak. Thank you for sending them I'm right so proper. Hot. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to a great product. Cheers to everybody out there. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed the extra content. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I don't know how much whiskey you've spilled today, but it is an ass I am. I feel like I drank more than I spilled, which is an interesting idea. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Helps Proof us out a ton. It's in? In the flask. Right, proper flask.